Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. Today's video will be part one of a multi-part series around some of the most common code interview questions I've received during the interview process with large companies like Apple to smaller startup tech companies. We will be focusing on C-sharp for our language today, but we'll be adding more languages as the series continues its run. We will be writing our code within CoderPad as that appears to be a very popular tool used within many of these interview processes. Today's code interview question is, reverse this string. Before we get started, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel but enjoy the content, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below as we upload lots of testing related videos each week on a wide range of topics from integrating AI into testing to setting up automation frameworks in multiple languages. With that out of the way, let's get into answering our question. So for those of you not familiar with CoderPad, when you first load it up with your language packages, it will provide you with this sample code. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to modify this sample code. So we're going to get rid of this string args and we're going to get rid of this sample code inside the main here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a var reverse text equals, and then we're going to call a method called reverse that we're going to create down below in a second. And inside there, I'm just going to pass hello comma world, and that will be the string that we need to reverse. Below that, I'm going to simply just console write out our reverse text. So we're going to do console.write line and then pass that reverse text variable into that. So now we need to create our reverse method. So, oops, looks like I misspelled that. So I'm going to add an E there. So I'm going to write public static string. I'm going to call it reverse. And then I'm going to accept a string argument of x. Inside there, I'm going to write string result equals blank string. Then we're going to do a for int i equals x dot length minus 1. i is greater than or equal to 0. i minus minus Result plus equals x and then i. Then we will return result. Now all we have to do is simply hit run here. On the right side is your console output, so we'll wait till that outputs. And as you can see, it has reversed hello world. And that is the answer to your reverse text code question. If you like this style of content, please hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button on your way out. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next video.